Hey guys, quick tutorial on pocketing. Um, I got this little chuck glider, the Katana. I think Mike posted it, uh, Crash. But we want to go through and do some pocketing on this, uh, make it a little lightweight and just show how the pocketing uh, can work with the flat printer. You'll notice that I've actually taken and uh, split this in half so that I can work on one side and it'll mirror on the other. Um, uh, we're gonna do this without using the pocket tool. So what I'm gonna do is use the offset tool and just bring a good amount in where you want it. Don't worry about the overlapping lines. We can delete those later. And kind of get an idea of how you wanna set up any kind of bracing. Um, you can hold over one line and it'll draw the exact angle on the other side. And I'm just going through this real quick like this and then we'll go through and we'll erase all the connecting struts and anywhere that we actually don't want the pocket to take place so I'm going to erase all this stuff and this stuff here make sure you don't have any stray lines like this Go through, uh, probably line up with here, go down, and maybe I'll put a straight brace here. Get rid of these lines. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now you wanna take, and, um, take your offset tool. If you hover over one of the areas, these will be our pockets, these three here and these two back here. What we'll do is we'll we will, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I got the wrong tool. Here we go. Offset tool will go in, and you just want to make sure that you do, if you look down here, you make sure that you're doing half of the width of your bit or less. And I'm using a 16th inch bit, which is 0 0.0625. So I'm just going to go a lot less than that, 327. So if you click once, and then you move to the inside and double click, it will repeat that over and over again into the center. So I'm gonna go through and do all my pockets like that. If you only want to pocket just back in this area, the tail section, you can always section that off by drawing a line and then using your offset tool, um, bring in just that area for instance. Uh, draw your bracing across, however you want to do that. Erase your edges and continue with the pocket by moving, moving it in and then double clicking. Now sometimes you have to move your mouse to get that middle face to highlight again. If you get any overlapping lines, you're going to have to go back uh, like we have right here. You're going to have to go back and delete those. We'll continue with the pocketing. Once you have your pocketing complete and you like the looks of it, you want to go through and um, I forgot to explode these. Explode. There we go. You're going to want to go through using your sketchy cam center line tool, which is here. You'll notice the depth percent is 30%. If we're using three millimeter uh, material, we can set it at whatever we want, perhaps 50%. And you want to just go over and holding down the mouse, left mouse button, create your 50% pockets. Like we're doing here. When you have all the lines green, you know that the pocketing is complete. You can then work up the rest of the aircraft. For instance, on this one, it's just a chuck glider. It'll have uh, outside cut. You may want to add some tabbing. And that's a real quick uh, example of how you can do pocketing using the SketchaCam plugin for SketchUp. Thanks for watching.